Welcome to today's webinars. And my name is Brian Hart. I'm the principal at HCS. Today we're going to try something new. We're going to try something um, around a mini webinar. For those of you that are not familiar with us, I thought I'd take a moment right now and share with you a little bit about HCS. At HCS, we view ourselves as a leading edge strategy and tactics for digital lead generation and marketing. Uh, we focus a lot around the retail marketplace, but here we're today we're talk to talk about social. Um, we've been uh, we take thirty years of experience and try to help our clients grow their business through a, a combination of digital marketing strategies and services. Uh, many times, acting as an interim marketing support service, we provide comprehensive design, marketing automation, and um, video production to go ahead and put all of this under one roof to help you uh, develop the tools necessary to, to compete in today's uh, ever-changing business development process. What we've found over the years is every business has its own unique DNA, and it's a lot easier from the outside of a business to articulate that message and tell that story. And when we do that, what happens is it, it amplifies your message and it helps differentiate your brand from others. So what we believe in is uh, this concept of cultural fluency, which means that uh, people want to hire specialists, not uh, generalists. And what every vertical market has is its own sort of vertical market cultural fluency. But at the end of the day, what we believe is implementation is everything. Uh, we've put together a 360 view on business development to help companies grow. But this is just the start. So what we're going to talk about next is really social media integration. So um, we thought this topic was really relevant because as we talk with owners and leaders of businesses, um, it's the question of why engage in social media. And what we're believing is that um, by engaging in social media, it's expanding your reach and it's creating um, visibility for you that you didn't used to have. So um, why social matters? Well, social is, is something businesses feel increasing pressure to engage in, but it's difficult to know how to do it, and particularly which, uh, with today's leaner workforces, how to go ahead and get that done. Uh, one of the things that we really enjoyed of a uh, recent article in Neiman Journalism at Harvard University is social media engagement. Uh, why is it social? So social media runs the gamut from the omnipresent Facebook and Twitter to the less common uh, Google, Pinterest, and personal professional blogs and book marketing platforms. Like so many of these facets of the digital age, change is only constant in the social media landscape. In this mini webinar, what we're going to talk about is just covering six key reasons and uh, needs to participate. So, first of all, one reason is show the, the world the face of your brand and your business. Um, the second one would be communicate your relevance and get your name on the list. Social selling and the perfect vehicle to communicate your difference. Social is where content marketing happens. So, let's talk a little bit about the face of your brand or your business. First, in the minds of today's searchers, which is really how this is uh, presented today, your online presence is the face of your brand. To demonstrate your relevance, you need to be engaging in social media. According to the Hinge Research Institute, 80% of buyers use company websites, 62% use Google search, and 60% use social media to evaluate potential vendors versus 62% who ask friends or colleagues, and 55% who rely on referrals. In fact, more consumers use social media each month than use email accounts. The Forrester research found that 100% of the business decision makers use social media for work purposes. So how do potential buyers search for professional services today? Well, we found this stat to be pretty amazing, which is how potential clients look for and evaluate you in the 2013-2014 stats. Almost every relationship starts with a visit to your website. And what always amazes us is when a company's website doesn't reflect their latest business development presentation. It is your public face. It is the number one key that you should invest in all the time. And it amazes me that companies will continue to invest in new business development decks and presentation tools without updating their website. But if you look at this, you're seeing that there's always an online search and actually 
uh, social media has become a triangulation point, and it's rated as high or higher than a referral. So uh, some of those stats are 90% of business decision makers are, are spectators on blog videos or podcasts, 70, 79% have a profile on social media network, and 75 comment on blogs and posting ratings and reviews. So there's a lot of people that are in, uh, in power and making decisions that are heavily involved in social. So the other area that we thought we would uh, take this down, which would be communicate your relevance. It's not just big brands that uh, need to keep their online presence current. At least a stale website tells the world you don't understand today's marketplace. At worst, it says your products and services are stale too. Sellers who demand heavily on referrals and references repeat customers will increasingly lose sales and lose control of their perception in the marketplace. So you got to get your name on the list. In today's corporate environment, decision makers rarely do their own research, and it's our belief that many researchers look like millennials. They're not engaged in your specific industry and are, are happy for any up-to-date messaging and informative point of view, ready to skip over companies that don't even seem relevant. This is uh, critical as sales only becomes engaged during that last third of the buying cycle when it's all but too much late to influence searchers. Companies that don't participate in social, whose content is outdated, may never make it to the shortlist or even be seen by a decision maker. So social selling works. The Aberdeen Group found that social sellers significantly outperformed the competition in numerous key performance indicators, from sales quotas to renewal rates and forecasting accuracy. And in a 2012 uh, study, Forrester found that social networks are a critical source of influence on decision makers in every stage of the purchasing. We also find the perfect veal to co communicate your differences in social. So social is the perfect veal to establish your firm as a thought leader or a maverick challenging the status quo and differentiating yourself in an ever-tightening market. It provides a wealth of opportunity to build relationships with prospects and instill a feeling of loyalty in your customers. Social is where content happens. So we have put this map together and talked to you a little bit about how content marketing kind of rolls up against being able to possibly play in this whole uh, process of content marketing. So we have different points where you're creating content and they're abstract visitors. Um, there's different areas where you're promoting and gathering content info. And a third area where you're, you're more interactive and you're converting customers and getting them to your website. Finally, social media provides the most effective channels to conduct content marketing. Content everywhere, anything from websites, blog posts, presentation, e-blasts, and slidecasts to ebooks and white papers is the new currency. We believe that moving forward, content uh, strategy will be one of the key determiners in a firm's success. So in conclusion, we hope we've persuaded you that social media not only works, but it's crucial for continued success. Ample evidence exists that, it, that provides beyond a doubt that when you engage with your customers, prospects, and industry professionals, we can reap big dividends. In our next mini-webinar on, on social, April 10th, we'll focus on how to reach the new searcher. Until then, feel free to reach us, and uh, we'll look forward to working with you. Thanks for HCS. We hope our presentation and insights have been a great opportunity for you to visualize the approach to this constantly evolving B2B marketplace. Thank you. We also wanted to let you know that we've uh, continued our publication and thoughts through our, our latest version of A Way to Grow. It's available by contacting us at HCS Info, and uh, we're, we're happy to promote it. And for those of you that are part of the SGA community, uh, you'll be receiving a free copy because they picked up the rights to distribute. You can also connect with us at, uh, at heartconsultingservices.com, and we look forward to uh, our next opportunity to talk with you. Thanks very much. This is Brian Hart with HCS Sign Alpha.